A hedgehog-like creature that was believed to be extinct has been captured on film for the first time. Named after Sir David Attenborough, the ancient mammal is thought to have first emerged 200 million years ago and has now been rediscovered in Indonesia. Our environment correspondent, Jonah Fisher, has more. That's, that, that is the first ever image, that one, of Attenborough's long to echidna. That anyone has ever recorded in, ever. in, in entirety of history? Correct. Proof of life from a species that was feared lost forever. I was euphoric, and the whole team was euphoric. 12 seconds of camera trap footage, a reminder that there are still places on Earth that humans have not disturbed. It's absolutely astonishing. I think it's extremely important to discover enigmatic new species and rediscover enigmatic lost species because they demonstrate the value of the environment in which they live. It's an echidna. And you can tell that it's a mammal because it's got hair. A favourite of Sir David, the rediscovered species is called Attenborough's long-beaked echidna. It's weirdly different from a hedgehog, a porcupine, or almost any other kind of mammal. Here, Sir David is with its much easier to find cousin, the short-beaked echidna. Thought to have lived alongside dinosaurs, echidnas are one of only two mammals to lay eggs. Just one specimen of the Attenborough echidna has been gathered back in 1961. It's so special it's kept under lock and key in the treasure room of Naturalis, the Natural History Museum of the Netherlands. It may look a little bit like a run-over hedgehog, but until now this unique specimen was the only proof that the Attenborough long-beaked echidna actually existed. And that's because these echidna live in one of the most remote places on Earth, the Cyclops Mountains in Indonesia. <laughs> Previous efforts to find the echidna failed due to a combination of opposition from local villagers and the brutal conditions. <laughs> you got it? Yeah. So you're slipping all over the place, you're, you're being scratched and cut. Um, there are venomous animals around you, deadly snakes like the death adder. Um, there are leeches literally everywhere. My colleagues and I were chuckling all the time. Oh, this is new. Nobody has seen this. It wasn't all about the echidna. Other scientists in the four-week-long expedition found new discoveries, in particular of insects, at every turn. It was truly monumental expedition. And you, and you think you found lots of new species? Uh, several dozens, for sure. In the nearest village to the mountains, the Attenborough echidna's elusiveness plays a role in local tradition as a way to bring peace. When members of the community are in conflict, one is sent up into the mountains to locate a payanko, an Attenborough's long beach echidna. The other goes out into the ocean to locate a marlin. This can sometimes take decades, but once those two very difficult to find animals have been located, it symbolizes that the sort of quest for the resolution of conflict is complete. Having established that the Cyclops mountains are as unique as the echidna that live there, the hope is that it will be easier to get all of it protected. Jonah Fisher, BBC News. So the long beak echidna has been rediscovered mm -hmm. and we saw the short beak echidna. Yes. Very cute and lots of wonderful, wonderful it's things to discover. a fascinating piece, that is. Really enjoy I bet Jonah really enjoyed doing that piece, seeing all those marvellous animals.